After years of complaining about Sydney's confusing parking signs, we've got some good and exclusive news for motorists tonight. Our traffic gurus are rolling out some new electronic signs and Lachlan Kennedy has the story. The technology which turned books into e-books is now turning street signs into e-signs, solar-powered, remotely controlled, changed with the click of a mouse from Transport HQ. They are a world first with a simple design premise. It's essentially an e-book built into uh, a part of the sign. Roads and Maritime Services worked with a European company to create the signs and after a trial down George Street, there are now 80 spread throughout the city's busiest areas. It's a really good story of sort of ingenuity and, and innovation uh, at both a local level and on a global level. Currently, e-signs are only being used for special clearways, but the Roads Minister does believe they could be the answer to getting rid of confusing parking signs. We have some of the best, most confusing signs in the world. And to be able to bring a simplicity, to bring a clear message on that night or that day uh, through this new technology it, it is just terrific. The team building the CBD light rail also want to use the technology when major construction works begin in October. There's going to be disruption and there's going to be lots of changes and things like e-signs will help us give that really good real-time information to our customers. Each e-sign costs $5,000. Roads and maritime analysis shows that in the long term they work out cheaper than paying to constantly update and install new metal signs. Lachlan Kennedy, 10 Eyewitness News.